Hey there, James here with Penner Trailer Sales. Today I want to talk about what is a power shuttle. To better understand what a shuttle is, we'll look at a tractor that has a manual shuttle. This tractor has a manual shuttle, has a manual clutch. You press in the clutch, there's mechanical linkage to the clutch to disengage the clutch. And then this shuttle shift lever here has linkage to the transmission to shift the transmission from neutral to forward or from neutral to reverse. Now here with a power shuttle, functionally the controls in the cab are fairly similar. We have a shuttle lever, looks a bit different, but it functions the same, has a center neutral position, forward and also reverse. We also have a clutch pedal that functions the same as the mechanical clutch would. And then also this clutch can be disengaged by a button here on the gear shift. You can press that, that's a neutral button, and that'll disengage the clutch as well. The differences, however, are located below the cab in the transmission. This clutch and shuttle shift is controlled by a TCM, that's a transmission control module, and it's an electric over hydraulic clutch. The clutch actually is located inside the transmission case as opposed to the manual clutch, which is a dry clutch up front um, by the flywheel. This clutch is inside the transmission and is therefore a wet clutch. Uh, so when you have a power shuttle, that means you have a wet clutch, which wet clutches, since they're bathed in oil, they have quite a bit more longevity, actually. So you can, when you're, you'll find power shuttles on higher horsepower, larger tractors. And part of that is just engaging that higher horsepower, the stress and demands that the clutch sees, you'll get better longevity out of the wet clutch. Now, utilizing this and functioning it, you actually, because it's controlled by the TCM, you don't need to press in the clutch pedal to place it in forward or reverse. If you're sitting still, brake released, and you're ready to go forward, you can simply take the shuttle shift, place it in the forward, and it will automatically engage, engage the clutch for you at a smooth, predetermined rate. It's a nice, gentle takeoff. And likewise, if you wanna stop, just place it in neutral, use your brake to stop, and reverse it, of course, is the same way. Like I already mentioned before, you can also place it in neutral by pressing this neutral button on the gear shift. Some loaders, some tractors, and Coyote doesn't do this, but you'll have a neutral button on the joystick for the loader. That allows you, uh, if you're coming up to a wagon, let's say, and you're dumping a load into a truck or a wagon, you can press that neutral button, shift it into neutral, rev up your engine to function your uh, bucket, shake it out, what have you, and then place it in reverse. So there's three different ways to disengage the clutch. The shuttle shift lever, the button on the uh, gear selector, or the clutch pedal. The clutch pedal still functions, and if you didn't know that it's a power shuttle, you wouldn't know there's anything different. It still acts just the same. Press it in, and it disengages the clutch, and as you release it, it'll, you can feather the clutch if you're backing up to an implement or moving into or uh, spearing a hay bale with a bale spear, what have you. You can still feather the clutch there. That's not a predetermined engagement rate. And you can control that manually with the clutch pedal. Um, basically, that's the only reason they still put a clutch pedal in a power shuttle is to be able to have that feathering ab ability. So in conclusion, um, power shuttle is kind of mysterious. What is that? What does it mean? That's the bare bones of it there. Um, it's actually a fair bit different um, in the hardware is from a manual uh, clutch and shuttle shift. And that's also reflected in the price as well. If you're looking at a power shuttle, there's a good bit of longevity. You have some more expensive hardware though to go along with that. So I hope that's been helpful. Hopefully that clears some of the confusion of what is a power shuttle. If you're looking at a tractor with a power shuttle, it's got heavier, different hardware in there that will give you more longevity, but will also reflect on the purchase price. If you wanna talk tractors, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Penner Trailer Sales. We'd be glad to talk to you, 931-361-1122.